Thank you for choosing Bytorque Valve Automation's HT Series Fire Safe Fusible Link Valve Assembly with a Butterfly Valve. This assembly is designed for critical shutoff protection in piping systems conveying flammable gases or liquids, toxic fluids, solvents, generators and propane lines, or any other potentially dangerous media. We use a state-of-the-art design that allows for manual operation of the valve with a clutchable manual override once the fusible links are removed. The HT series consists of five main components. The top plate arming device, fusible links, spring pack, declutchable manual override, and API 607 fire safe butterfly valve. A complete breakdown of parts is available on our website. Use caution when handling the HT series fusible link assembly since it has been shipped in the armed position with the spring pack under tension. Installing the link where high temperature fluctuations are possible, such as direct sunlight, is not recommended. Consistent exposure to high ambient temperatures can cause the fusible links to break prematurely. Never disassemble the spring pack or remove the casing on the clock spring for any reason. The clock spring is always under pressure and disassembly of the spring case could result in serious injury. Never operate the declutchable manual override with the fusible links installed. Doing so will damage the unit and render the links inoperable. In order to both arm and manually operate the valve, you will need to get an understanding of how our declutchable manual override works. It's important to note that the fusible links must always be removed before operating the declutchable manual override. We'll go over the steps needed to install and remove the links later in this video. Do not attempt to operate the declutchable manual override until you have watched this entire video. Use one hand to grab the override engagement handle, squeezing both the bottom and top handles together. With the handles still squeezed together, move the handle from its disengaged position up toward the spring pack mounting flange until the lock tabs are in line with their locking positions. Once the handle is in the locked position, the declutchable manual override is ready for use. Clockwise rotation of the hand wheel will move the valve toward the closed position. Counterclockwise rotation moves the valve toward the open position. Now that we've reviewed basic declutch operation, let's take a look at how they work with our fusible link assemblies. HT series assemblies with butterfly valves are shipped in the armed position with the valve closed and the declutchable manual override in the engaged position. The valve must be moved to the open position in order to be armed. In addition, the safety link must be removed and replaced with the fusible links after the valve has been put in line. If the safety link is not removed or the valve not moved into the open position, the fusible link will not operate correctly. Always install the valve in the pipeline and secure to valve flanges before proceeding. These units will be armed after following these easy steps. Make sure the declutch is engaged. Then, remove the 5 16 retaining nuts either by hand or by using a half inch wrench. Remove both the red safety link and all fusible links before manually operating the valve. Slowly turn the declutch hand wheel counterclockwise toward the open position until the valve is fully open and the declutch has reached its stops. Make sure the pivot arm is moved into the proper position and then reinstall the fusible links. Do not reinstall the red safety link. Then use the nuts to secure the links. Do not over tighten the nuts. Over tightening the nuts will stress the links and could result in improper functioning. Slowly turn the declutch hand wheel clockwise until the fusible links are holding the spring tension. The hand wheel should move freely once the tension is held. Once the tension is held by the links, disengage the declutch gear. You might have to move the hand wheel slightly either clockwise or counterclockwise to disengage the declutch. The hand wheel should now spin freely. Once the declutchable manual override is disengaged, the unit is now armed. It's important to note that if the gear is left in the engaged position, the valve will not spring close when the fusible links break. Failure to properly disengage and arm the unit voids any warranties. 
Please note that once the links are in place and the D-clutch is disengaged, you cannot manually operate the valve again until the links are removed. If you need to operate the valve, engage the D-clutch gear and turn the handwheel counterclockwise until the tension on the links is removed. Then, remove the retaining nuts by hand. Once these nuts are removed, remove the links. Turn the handwheel clockwise to move the valve toward the closed position. Upon completion of operating the valve manually, return the valve to the open position by turning the handwheel counterclockwise. It's important to note that the unit is not armed until the links have been properly reinstalled and the D-clutch disengaged. Failure to properly reinstall the links or disengage the gear will void any warranties on the product. Our Fusible Link manufacturer recommends annual replacement of the links as part of a regular maintenance schedule. Contact your local distributor or buy torque valve automation for replacement links. Refer to both the model number and serial number when ordering replacement parts.